Oh, damn, it's so warm today. And uh, today we are going to be doing a live build. Yes, this is the Hot Wheels Muscle Bound from Mega Constructs. I saw these and I thought, hey, they're actually putting effort into the Hot Wheels stuff. Because originally they were like, eh, do I really need it? But also, I actually have the proper Muscle Bound that this is based on. I'm not going to go find it because it's uh, in a bag of other Hot Wheels cars. So there's that. Uh, let me go ahead and get scissors. Because I need scissors. I now possess scissors. Hey, there's people in the chat. Hello. Uh, let's see. Uh, Master Chief Animations and Lil Allen. I know that the domain is right now going on a stream, so not a lot of people are going to show up. But hey, we are going to build this anyways. Uh, pretty thick packaging, too. Like, this isn't going to get damaged except for the corner here. And there's a bunch of other cars. I want the Twin Mill. The Bone Shaker looks cool. And I can't remember exactly what this is. That's a Bone Shaker muscle truck. That is some sort of shark thing. I'm not the biggest expert on all the car names, but uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this, which, by the way, it promotes that you can drive the car. Ooh. I'm not sure if these come with minifigures. Now, I know that these are for the Wonder Builders 5 and lower up or whatever ages. You know, it's not like the typical Halo lineup, but I like Hot Wheels. I think they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. Uh, so I decided to pick this up, and there's the bag. Oh, it does come with a minifigure. I was not expecting that. There's the instructions, and uh, there's the second bag. So for anyone who's curious on the cars, well, there you go. There's the instructions, and you will be able to open and build this. And I believe you can also replace the monster truck for this. So, uh, let's see. Uh, you can also pretty much make this into some sort of track by cutting the tape on the other side and having the car go down it. Uh, let's see, trying to cut that tape is really difficult. There we go. And then, let's see, pull this out. And come on. There we go. Okay, so now we got the other side going. We open this up like that, fold that down. And then this will go which way? It will go this way, apparently. But, uh, oh, and then it hooks into here. So you push these tabs. Because they want the box to be part of the, the playing experience. And I'm just like, haha, Bionicle, am I right? So that was a big thing with Bionicle. I, I feel like that was meant to go the other way, but uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, these tabs are going to be in the way anyways. And, uh, let's see, so these fold in, these fold in, and then you swing this up, hooks into there, uh, like that, and there you have your own little box track thing that, uh, the whole car is supposed to go down. So, interesting play feature, not really a big, you know, selling point, but it's there. Instruction time! I'm not sure if, okay, yeah. Uh, I used to collect, like, Hot Wheels. All right, bye. Okay. My mom is sick. Oh, sorry to hear. Uh, Master Microwave is also here. Bag number something. Let's go ahead and open this. This is a smaller bag, so it's not going to be too hard. But, uh, the pieces don't look like they're significant to any bag. It just looks like they threw in whatever. Not that, uh, you know, if you get one by fives, you're only going to get it in this bag, not this bag. But, uh, it, it doesn't seem like specific small pieces are in this. And then this is one of those big bags that has a bunch of other little bags in it. This one you kind of have to cut, because it's a pain in the ass. Uh, this one has the chassis of the car. This one has a bag of parts. These ones actually do look like a smaller bag. Like the typical Mega Constructs bag. And it uh, shouldn't be hard to build. It's about 102 pieces. So, not too bad on that. And this one will open up and we will take a look at these parts. Nice. It is the Warthog and Halo Green, metallic green. So, that's nice. Are you going, aren't you going to review in Halo? So, 
that's another update that I wanted to talk about. Uh, yes, I want to review more Halo. I got the Pelican. I got the giant turret thing. I've got other Halo sets that, yes, I could very well do. Uh, I want that turret takedown. I still haven't bought it, and it's like $2 off. But uh, just don't have the time exactly, because I've got Transformers reviews I'm focusing on. And then I also want to do some other Transformers-related content, and... It's just difficult to do. Oh, and uh, here's the minifigure. Yes, they do put in minifigures. He's tiny! And the funny thing about this guy is that this is pretty much the uh, model that's going to be used for the Master Chiefs. But he's a small little guy, and honestly, I don't mind that. He's a guy, a guy of a cutie. Cutie patootie. What should we name him? Hmm? Give him name. Uh, what I do like about these is that they're... Dimensions are by five and by three. Hello. I think that was Master Builder, was it not? Or Jurassic Addict, yes. Uh, hello. How are you doing, boy? Yes, you are here. But uh, this, uh, this section here is only two pegs wide. So Very indifferent chassis building techniques, but I am not opposed to it. So we got that. That is the first page done. That is page three, or step three. Now we go to step four. This is the second page with blue. No, multicolored pieces. Oh no. And that goes there. They feel very uh, cheap. The plastic. Uh, well, not feel. They they actually feel fine. But the color of this looks cheap. This is a metallic red, which is. I think the same red that was used on the Phaeton um, strike set, the second Phaeton that came out. Anyways, we're going to build more parts, yeah! Why do I sound like an old man? Back in my day, we didn't have Halo Mega Blocks, or Mega Constructs, we had Mega Blocks! We liked it! Uh! Okay. Anyways, Tyre, you go back in your spot. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we got a one by one that we have to put in the middle here. Uh, one by fives will go all across here. How's the quality on my phone? I'm not sure how my webcam is doing. The reason why I'm doing this on my phone right now is because it's going to take too long for me to open up my laptop and do this. So I thought, hey, it's just easier doing it this way. Uh, let's see. So we need three of these all across the bottom here. I'm glad that they use the typical pieces. This is also a big size set. Um, they're about 10 bucks out here, and uh, so far it does feel like 10 bucks worth of set. Uh, yay, haha. -ha. Uh, and then we're done with that. So, next page. Oh, we gotta add more colored parts. Ooh. More blue. Ooh. Uh, then we add some red. Come on. There we go. Some more red. Ew. Ew. Brian, we're adding red parts. Ooh. This is kind of a different looking thing going on right here. And then we've got a 1x3 that goes slapped right there. And then we've got that little opening thing on the side there with uh, the pattern. I almost didn't look at the pattern. Yes, we gotta have the pattern on the right way. This is the wrong piece. We gotta have this one right here, because that goes with the shark tooth. Okay. I really do like this car. I've got it in the other room somewhere. Um, I actually bought it during a camping trip. Uh, oh, I put this blue piece in the wrong spot. It's supposed to go over the other blue parts. And then this brick goes here. And then we have a 1x3 that goes right here. We have this black slope piece, whatever it is, that goes in the middle. And then we have uh, pretty much the same thing as this side, but the opposite. And there it is. And there this is. And is the chat going? It's good. Name him Bob the Brick Boy. His name is Bob. Oh, goodness. It's, it's Bob. It's Ricky Bobby. Okay, now we got more parts. Surprisingly enough, what will happen next? It's like watching actual cars racing. You'll never know what happens next. They took a left turn. 
Um, let's see. Uh, I feel like I skipped the step. No, I didn't. I did not. And then we have this, which is all in transparent blue. That's not... Oh, so the blue actually does make sense, because they could have just put it in red, but no, they wanted to put it in blue. But now, now I'm getting it. Uh, let's see, and then there's a small red piece that goes in the middle back here. Like so. So yes, I do want to do more Halo reviews. It's just the timing is... Yeah. So there's that. Don't worry. It's not like I want to neglect everyone. Because I do want to keep this channel going, at least. You know. Oh, that goes up to here. And uh, this one was also plugged in wrong. Don't want to break it. Or is it? No, that plug that's plugged in, right? Okay. So that actually goes up. So that's nice. Uh, green piece goes right here. And then those L-shaped pieces right here. I think I remember the first set I've ever owned with a similar piece like that. Um, and, and it was a Lego set, so it was the Lego version of it, but it was um, the Gungan speeder thing, whatever that thing that goes in the ocean. Either that or it was the Cloud City car, because I had that. I actually have most of it still. I want to get the uh, pieces so that I could be like... Hey, I still have it. But just haven't jumped on it. Maybe I should look more into that. See, these are very quick and basic to build. Um, I'm not sure if I should give them to a five-year-old, though. I feel like five is a little high up, or not high, uh, low tier for this. I don't know. I feel like uh, someone older should be given this or at least an adult should build it um and not saying kids are stupid but i don't know there's some it, it's not like it's overly complicated it's just there's a lot of different pieces going on that is typical for the mega constructs lineup that some kids might be like how do i do this i need to squish that down because it doesn't look like these are lining up properly Uh, hello, Chris. You are here. Hello, Justin. You are here. Question, what got you into Halo? Uh, Red vs. Blue did. Which is funny, because I don't like what they're doing with Red vs. Blue nowadays. But that's what got me into it. And then I saw the sets, and uh, the first one was like a tank. And I was like, hey, that's like Sheila. Let's go ahead and get that. And I was looking more into the sets, and they look really cool. And so I thought, you know what, let's just buy more and see how it goes. And then now, ten years later, or some years later, I've got a huge collection of Halo sets. Okay, so we got that going. Um, oh, interesting. So they don't connect the top from the bottom. It's just all over the place. Uh, let's see. There's the front bumper right there. It is taking shape. Oh, then we got the sloped camo piece. That's pretty cool. And that will go in the front there. Uh, we've got those triangle tiles that always annoy me. Because you got to put them on the right side. You got to find the right one and then put it on the right side. And I don't mean right, left, whatever. Uh, then we have these, which are new. Glad that they're putting in new parts for these, because uh, I, I remember some of the older Hot Wheels Mega Construct sets weren't that good. It's like, I don't think they were bad. They're just not impressive. And now it's like, hey, this is actually something. All right, now we're forming the back. Right, how do we do this? Uh, so we put the one by one on the back. And put that right there. There's some distance between that. So 
So yeah, this isn't gonna be a long live stream. Hmm. And then this section is a little complicated and hard to do, but not impossible, I don't think. This is very tiny, though. And uh, uh, this. Uh, we put on the red bars. And then we put this here. Sorry, I had to do something quickly. And then we do the same here. There we go. And there we go. Now we got a bumper section. Hmm. Oh, now I see what those are. So everything else should be pretty simple and basic. Put the top on. Uh, put this on. And uh, is this going a certain direction? Sure, it goes this way, apparently. And then these should go on the bottom underneath. I can kind of tell where these go. I think right there. Oh, there's a small one in the middle. I'm just jumping the gun at this point. There we go. And then mirrors. And wheels. And yes, you can put the figure inside. I'm not going to do that right now. But that is muscle bound. That is the little car. And man, it just looks like an oversized version of the Hot Wheels we already know. Uh, and yes, I was able to get everything correctly, even though it tells you, hey, put these together. And it's like, how? You can't really do that. Uh, yes, it does show that you can put them together. Also shows that, yes, you can put them on the monster trucks, I believe. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, Hot Wheels cars for this lineup, but uh, there it is. Whoa, yeah, baby, that's what I've been waiting for. Yeah! These instructions won't get out of the way. Uh, have you ever played any Halo games? Nope, I have not. Have you seen the new Chopper? Yes, it looks good. General Kenobi. No, it's Mega Bloks. Um, oh, that's the same question about the Chopper. Uh, that is Lego. I just said Lego figures haven't changed since uh, first design. Uh... Do, 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 yeah. Oh, one thing we got to try. Um, you know what? Let's let's put him in. Let's just do that. He want he wants a ride. Let's get him a ride. He goes in. Um, uh, no real place to plug him though. I don't think he, he's supposed to stand, and he can't really reach the steering wheel with both hands. So I guess he's just in there. Yeah, that's kind of lame, but uh. He's in, and that was dumb. Uh, I guess I can open these up a little bit more, open this up a little bit more. Maybe that will be easier. Uh, let's try that again. Let's give it a little push. And this is better. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see the actual size. Well, the actual size is pretty close. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, that is the Hot Wheels Muscle Bound. Um, I thank you guys for watching, and that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. I've got other Transformers to open now, because I've got a whole toy haul. If you want to check that out, it's on Ultimate Doom 2 or T-Fan Page 101. Uh, or it will be. I just recorded it. I haven't uploaded or edited it, but uh, it will soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, all this fun do that, and I will see you guys next time.